A Texas family is threatening legal action against their school district after their teenage son was told he could not walk at graduation because of his hair. The Barbers Hill School District told DeAndre Arnold that his long dreadlocks violate its dress code. DeAndre is being forced to either cut his hair or face an in-school suspension. The Arnold family says this is about race. Omar Villafranca is in Mont Bellevue, Texas, where this all started. Omar, uh, good morning. Does DeAndre's hair violate a school policy? Is that really a policy that says you can't have dreadlocks? Under this policy, yes. Now, DeAndre wears his hair up. It's not in his eyes and it's not below his collar. But the policy was reworded in December, and the superintendent told us it doesn't matter if boys wear their hair up or if they wear their hair down. What matters is the length. It cannot be a certain length. And now the family is pleading with the district for an exception. This isn't how I wanted to remember my senior year at all. DeAndre Arnold's final semester at Barbers Hill High School was supposed to be filled with memories that would stay with him forever. It's always up and kind of off of, you know, all the regulations. But, but an issue done. over a hairstyle he's been wearing since the seventh grade is putting a damper on his senior year. His mom thinks it's a black and yeah. white issue. There's no people of color on the school board, so I get it that they, do, they don't understand about his hair. Is his hair style a distraction or does it stop him from learning in any way? Not a bit. Uh, he has good grades. I don't get calls about that. I don't get calls because he's disrespectful. Anything other than his hair. At least once a week for sure. I'm getting called to the office about my hair. What's impeding your learning more? <laughs> you getting called to the office or your hair? Me getting called to the office every, every week. I can count on it. Every school district in the nation has a dress code. Uh, I don't think you can go to school in your underwear. Superintendent Gary Poole says the dress code, which has been in place for 30 years, only limits hair length, not style. We'd love to see DeAndre back in class, and there's no way we would inhibit him from graduating. But we are going to be fair to the 6,200 other kids that have to comply by the same policy. They said he'll be able to graduate, but he just couldn't walk. Right. I'm a parent. You're a parent. I ain't having it. You want the walking. You want the walking. You've put in the work. You saw your peers. You're going to take that away from him? I mean, it's unfair. Is it a look? Is it a cultural thing? Is it a heritage thing? The culture really plays a role in this because, you know, being around my dad and stuff and around his people, I really seen something that I wanted to, you know, take part in. And 